Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, these are mods for Friday the 29th of March. And we did get a mod drop of Case IH Agriculture Equipment. And then much, much later, we then had another mod drop from Universe Simu Modding. So I'm kind of rolling it all in to one. There are no updates just the mods themselves. So we're going to start off here. This is the Case IH Puma SWB LWB by Case IH Brazil and Connect Modding. Um, this is 49.13 megabyte download. They're 21 slots each. There are two in this pack. So we've got the short wheelbase and the long wheelbase. And it is slightly longer. The engine compartment, engine bay, bonnet is a little bit longer. As you can see, this looks a little bit stubbier. It's a little bit, it's hard to tell from the sort of aerial view. But these are Brazilian Case IH Brazil. So we've got a lot of sugarcane type equipment, wider tracks, that kind of stuff. As you can see, and we'll move through the mods. So these first ones then. You will find these under medium tractors. Both here, slot counts will come down to one on both. So the SWB is 120 grand and the LW is 150 grand for the base model. So starting off with this, we have got the option of a Trelleborg. We've got Continental, Midas, Michelin, BKT, Vredestein, back to Trelleborg. And we have got... I think it's the same on each one, actually. And there we go. Then we've got the option of, on the front, 200 kilo, 400 kilo, 600, or back again, for weights. Then we've got wheel weights on the back. Now, depending on whether you've gone for, so if you've gone for a wheel set up with sugarcane space, not sugarcane space, rear twins, the weights will be on the inner wheel. So if you add weights on now, you can't see them, but it is adding them onto the inner wheel. So I go back to that and take that back off again. You'll see there they're being added on. So... We start off with a 200, 400, 600. That sticks right out there and then back to zero again. But like I say, they will go on the inner wheel if you've gone for twins. Uh, then we've got clear windows, mid, dark, back again. Curtain, yes or no. That's at the front, puts a curtain you can bring down for brighter weather. Then attachers, now this is interesting on the back. So we've got attacher standard, sugarcane hitch. Sugarcane hitch without the three point, so it takes the three point away, which is normal. Normally, you kind of get a three point added on the front, or you know, you get the quick hitch, that kind of thing. That actually takes the three point off, so you've only got a sugarcane hitch on there. Those are our choice on there. Then we've got seat material, so we've got fabric grey or red, and then we've got leather grey or red. She's feeling a bit fancy, mind you. In the hot weather, leather can be here, yeah. and we've got a license plate option there as well. Then move to the LWB, and I think the option is pretty much the same if I recall correctly, for our manufacturers. And then, yeah, pretty sure it's the same all the way through. It's the same with the, oh no, the weight on this one is different. This one goes zero kilo to 500. It doesn't go up like suitcase weights. It doesn't go up in different, incl in, not inclinations, increments is the word I'm looking for. Um, it just goes weight or not, yes, no. And there's no three point link on either of these. We've got the wheel weight options again on this one, same with the windows, curtains yes or no, and then attaches, same on the back. We've got our standard, we've got sh with sugarcane hitch or just sugarcane hitch, no three point. And then same with the seat materials and same with the license plate. So, let's hop in, start it up. Lighting's pretty good. This one, I went with additional sugarcane hitch and the three points a lot. Now we do have on these as well, under L1, right stick side to side, does the door. Right stick up and down. Obviously it depends what control you're on, but should be pretty much the same. Um, R1, and right stick side to side, moves the seat forwards and backwards, so if you're inside, you can get closer up or further back, because that's what that means. <laughs> L1, R1, left stick side to side, turns the seat. Now this is interesting. Because on this model, and this is by the same modder, modders, we sat in the seat and we can turn, I think it's 40 degrees it moves to. 
um, which is easier than for seeing your screens and stuff when you're operating and you can look over the back much easier to see what's going on rather than have to keep craning your head around that kind of thing that's what that's for um, let's bring that back around and you move with the seat you'll see in that one so we've got right stick side to side does that up and down your wheel and then right stick up and down oh did I not go for it on this one um, should move the no that's got it isn't it oh maybe not um, should do the uh, the curtain if you've gone for the curtain so that's that one I'll show you the other one because I'm pretty sure I've got the curtain in that one does sound good though this one I think I went for yeah so that's just should get it looks weird it, it looks naked on the back without a three point doesn't it all exposed and open at the back there very cool though jump in start that up did I go for the curtain on this one I think I did. So L1, R1, and right stick up and down. There we go. So if you've got a curtain, that will raise that. All the other options are exactly the same for our steering wheel up and down and seat forward and backward, door open and closed, rear window, all that kind of, all that kind of jazz. It's just slightly. Is this the SWB? No, it was the LWB, it was, wasn't it? Trying to see if we can put them next to each other. Try and line the wheels up. You can definitely see the other one's longer. So we go. Oh, the horsepowers were different as well. I'm so. What is wrong with me today? I'm so sorry. It's that one. There's no horsepower options on these. So the SW is 182 horsepower and the LWE is 234 horsepower. Engine bay is slightly different, longer, and you, you can tell the difference as well. The light setups as well that's more of a kind of wrap around look that one they're more on the front so no yes that's those the puma swb lwb next that we have got this this is the case ih magnum 260 sugarcane also by case ih brazil and connect modding 29.47 megabytes download 22 slots on console i must admit when you get uh, mods from custom modding connect modding jhg there's loads of companies groups that put them out and you think straight away oh no there's going to be so many options 82 studio that kind of stuff i was surprised how few options there were um makes life a little bit easier i'm not gonna lie but I mean, look at the width of that that is craziness anyway this you find are the large tractors so that one just there slot count will come down from 22 to 1 and it comes already with sugarcane width you can't do anything about that that's how it comes and i think it's the same with the horsepower on this it's 284 horsepower no options to change that uh, we have got teleborg michelin continental mitus bkt vladestein and back again but no tire choices within that there's no options for twins anything like that then we've got front weight standard 650 980 back again then we've got wheel weights and then we've got no curtains. You've got front curtain, front and right curtain, rear curtain, front and rear curtain, and then configurations of various different curtains, and then back, oh sorry, all curtains. And then you've got with brackets and plate. Now that's on the back here at the top, or without. So that's for your number plate. If you don't want a number plate on there, or you don't want, you can just take that off, and it's just got the case H logo on the back there. That's up to you. Uh, we've got the clear window options again, dark window. There's no intermediate one on that one. It's just clear or dark no mid then we've got side signals yes or no so that's more the us spec uh, attaches three point no three point hydraulic again it looks really strange on the back without a three point on there and the same with the seat materials on this one we've got fabric or we've got leather in red and license plate option that's it like i said i thought there'd be more options but there you go Again, sounds brilliant. So, L1, right six side side, door and rear window. I think we always take that for granted. I've, I always love that, especially when you've got the, like, the wraparound windows. It, they look absolutely fantastic. Uh, R1 and right six side side, on it up. So if we need to do a bit of uh, maintenance, routine or otherwise, we can raise and lower the bonnet. L1, R1, right stick side to side, does our steering wheel up and down. Hang on, that's interesting. 
there we go, L1, R1, right stick side to side, and then if you've gone for curtains, right stick up and down, so depending on what combination you've gone for, they're not independent, so if you've gone for front, right, front, rear, all, L1, R1 and right stick up and down will do all of them depending on what you've got, I went for that two option rather than all, but um, that will raise and lower the blinds, if you wish. And our steering wheel. You really do forget how big the Magnums are. With that wide wheel track as well. That's a thing. Anyway, we're going to use this for the next one. So, swinging in. That's the Magnum 260 sugarcane. So, engine off a sec. Actually, you know what? I'll leave the engine on. Turn the lights off. So, behind that, we've got this. This is the Case IH Easy Riser 3215, also by Case IH Brazil Connect Modding. 30.87 megabytes download, 15 slots with a 6.8 meter spread width. Again, I was surprised how few, if, I don't think they've got any options on these at all. Um, but, as I always say, most of the mods these days but certain companies again groups the level of detail is staggering the animations the sound effects just wow so this and the one next to it you'll find under planters so if we go along to there so we are on this one here, the Easy Riser 3215 100 grand slot count will come down to 1 200 horsepower required it's not a direct drill this one and it does your it's not one that does everything this will just do your planter crop types and this will take seed and fertilizer in as well and as i said um other than hitch height we can change that five different settings it starts off on three i think and then oh is it on one anyway we've got whatever i think it was on one wasn't it but there are five hitch settings on that come out let's hook it up So, as you can see, we've got 3,400 litres of seed, uh, of uh, fertiliser, sorry, 1,000 and 1,090 of um, seed. So, fertiliser and seed in there. Cover open. Does your seed tank first. Close that. Opens the next ones for your fertiliser. doesn't unfold that's it that's how it comes now obviously the thing with this as well because this doesn't fold up there's no option to transport this sideways or anything like that um it's quite a wide proposition so this is really only going to be for mid to larger size maps uh or at least maps where you can transport around easily tight lanes narrow roads narrow gateways that kind of stuff you're going to struggle i love there's a little bit of bounce there on that suspension as you're driving along there we go, get it in the light so we can see. And we should have the fan sounds as well on this. Let's start it up. So, turn it on. Oh, listen to that. There you go. And all that independent movement on the back as we're going over the ground. Look at that. I'd love to turn that off. That sounds fantastic. Anyway, that's the KCH Easy Riser 3215. Then next to that, we've got the Case IH, Case IH Fast Riser 6127. Also onto planters, and you probably saw it just uh, next to this one when we were looking at it. Again, I don't think this has got any options. I don't think it's even got an option for adjustable hitch. It just comes as it is. This isn't a seed and fertilizer. This is just seed. This is a direct drill as well. 
It's 38.27 megabytes download, 19 slots on console, also by Case AH Brazil and Connect Modding. Another one, incredibly intricate, I can't wait to hear this one start up as well. Very nice indeed. So, same place, under planters, just there, 250 grand, 240 horsepower required, slot count comes down to one. As I said, this is a direct drill as well, so you, there's no need for cultivating, plowing or anything like that, and you get no options, it comes just like that. So, we can start this one up. All seed, and we'll go over to a bit here that has been mul uh, not mulched, has been previously harvested, but nothing else has been done to it. We'll open this up. Actually, I'm gonna to go to the other end, so again, we're in the light should be opening this up when we're stationary not really on the move actually let's stop I'm going to unfold it when we're stationary because it I want to show the wheel movement and stuff like that oh the anticipation Cover open, like so. Start it up. And away we go. Fantastic. So stop that, raise that. Absolutely awesome. That's the Case IH Fast Riser 6127 by Case IH Brazil and Connect Modding. Now we're going to switch modder because I'm going to do the implements now and then we'll move on to the last couple of bits. Uh, so next we've got the Sopima, this is one that came up quite late yesterday. The Sopima Tool Holder 6 metre by Universe Simu Modding. Let's get up here a little bit further up. Park this. Say so park it. I mean just stop. Not really parking, are we? And we've got this. I'll say this. These, should I say. So this you'll find under the cultivators, this you'll find under roller. That's a three point link, I'm gonna try on its own. There's no reason why at all why you can't use it on its own as a roller. But this will do your cultivating work. And you can run it as a cultivator on its own, but it does have a three point link on the back. So again, you could put other implements. It doesn't have to be this specifically. I mean, I'm saying that. I don't see any reason why other stuff won't hook on the back of it, if you wanted to. I guess you could run it and you could have a seed on the back if you wanted to, potentially. But we're looking at this. So this is 29.25 megabytes download, 12 slots for the first section and 9 slots for the second, as I said, Universe Simu Modding. These you will find under Cultivators. I was on the right row already. So there you go, 45,650 for the 6 meter Cultivator, the Tool Holder 6M. No options on this, you get it just like that. And we come out of there and we go to our rollers below. There we go. We've got the cross skillet six meter foldable, 10,995. Slot counts on both come down to one. Uh, again, no options. You get it just like that. So what we're going to do is run it on its own. Drop it down. 
There's no options for adjustment or anything as far as I could tell. Is that for the window? Let's have a look. I couldn't see anything moving. L1, R1, right stick up and down. Can't see anything adjusting, personally, but... Look at that. Smooth seed bed. Well, I'm curious to see. If we go over a bit that's already been mulched. Yeah, it's a shallow cultivator. So it's not going to bring up stones. But if you want to go one step further and get your rolling done at the same time, as I said, we can add the roller attachment onto the back and run it with the roller. Unfold that. So we get that lovely seed bed at the front and then we roll over the top. Now either one, I mean you don't, I think when you've planted your seed, I'm sure that's still a thing, when you've planted your seed in the ground and then you roll, you get a, was it, so I, I thought, always thought it was a 5% bonus, and I saw people messaging me and said it was a 2 or a 3%, regardless, if you roll after you've done your seeding or planting, you get a bonus for rolling. Either one of these preps, if you're trying to get a nice smooth seed bed, will work. You don't have to do all of them. This is just sort of more real world application. Uh, what I'm going to do is disconnect that. I'm going to disconnect that. Like I said, don't see any reason why you can't use the roller on its own. Actually, I'm just looking at that. Oh no, I was going to say, has that got a three point on the back of that as well? It hasn't. Yeah, so just use that as a six metre roller on its own. It's not liking that as much, that top link's a bit wobbly, but it's still, it's still rolling, it will still do the job. Pick it up. I mean, like I say, it is designed to go on the back of that, but you can use it independently if you wish. Again, like I've said, Universe Simu Modding, another one of those uh, modders that just tip top quality stuff. That's the Supima Tool Holder 6M by Universe Simu modding next. We have this. I mean, this is two versions of the same vehicle. This is the Case IH Patriot 250 Sugarcane by Case IH Brazil Connect Modding. This is 51.06 megabytes download, 28 slots for the first one. So we've got, a, I say, a standard one. The herbicide or liquid fertilizer sprayer. So you find it under crop protection. The Patriot. Um, and then we've got a sugarcane version. Now, I know when I watch um, Cole the Corn Star and they use their sprayer, they have these Y droppers and they have a frame like this and then they connect them on. It's when they do their corn, this is for sugarcane, and the Y droppers like this hang down and it applies the, the um, whatever it is they're putting down at that particular time, right down where it needs to be rather than spraying it all over the place. And this is a similar sort of thing. It puts everything exactly where it needs to be for the nozzle heights. Now, if you go for the standard version, I think it's 30 two meters and it goes to 27 we're gonna have a look at it anyway those are the two options and we've got an extra we've got tank configuration i think 2500 liters and 2700 liters it adds a little bit on if you want a, a little bit of a boost for your uh herbicide or liquid fertilizer so these you'll find under vehicles and under crop protection so there you go 250 should go 145,000. i have to say that's not too expensive I mean, the tank size isn't massive on it but that's not a bad price. I'm just looking at the price of these. That's that's a hundred grand cheaper than the the bird two. I say it's got it's got a smaller tank, but yeah, twenty seven and thirty two meters. So that's your standard version, working width standard. That's twenty uh, sorry thirty two meter boom width. 
And then if we switch it to that one, which is special bar for sugarcane, that brings it down. The boom stays the same, but it doesn't unfold the final section. It just adds that bar section onto the middle bit. Um, so it brings it to 27, so 32 to 27 meters, and then back again. Then we've got wheel set up standard, or we've got narrows. Raise the whole thing up a little bit. Then we've got an additional reservoir that's added in. And I say that goes from 2,500 litre to 2,700 litre tank capacity and license plate option on there as well. Those are our options. So let's jump in this one. I went for standard tyres on this one with the 32 metre boom width. This doesn't have all wheel steer, it's front wheel steer, and there's no option for changing that. We can unload once you put stuff in as well. Uh, when we open cover for filling, it does that, which is pretty cool for putting in. And we do also have the option to, but it comes like that narrowed, so we can widen our track width, unfold, while we're unfolding, lights, horn and beacon. Once unfolded, we do have the option then for raising and lowering of the boom, like so. I've got herbicide in this one, so it's not actually going to herbicide anything, but there you go. That's our herbiciding. Let's fold that back up again. What was our... Oh yeah, it's got a visor, sunscreen at the front, so in cab, R1 and right stick up and down, we'll do that. And this is our first person in cab. Lovely. Get a nice bit of suspension on that as we're going across the rougher ground. Another intricately made, really nice model. So we'll open up the other one and I'll show you what I mean. So the boom will open out. The other one, it's the same options, everything else is exactly the same. I've gone for the narrows on this one. So we can, like I said, open that up. Unfold. So you can see the final sections of the boom are still on it, but when it unfolds, it only unfolds to there. The final sections don't unfold because that's where our shoe can attachment is to. Again, once unfolded, we can raise and lower the boom to whatever height we want. Very nice indeed. I do like the look of these. It looks like an insect already, doesn't it? The way that's designed. That's, I'm sure, is that a Puma? I think it's a Puma cab, isn't it? They put on them. I'm sure it's a Puma. Could be wrong. There are so many in the case I line up. That's, that's probably, it looks like a Puma cab. So, there we go. That's the case IH Patriots, or Patriots, depending on where you're from. 250 sugarcane by uh, Case IH Brazil and Connect Modding, which brings me on to the last of the mods. And it's this absolute weapon. <laughs> the biggest quad track, this is the Steiger version. I've done it in green because, you know, Miss Silly P, green and all that, but. Oh, man. And this. I'm not saying that on PC, there might be other ones on PC, but as far as I'm aware, I'm just trying to think of some of the other mods and stuff we've had. This is certainly the most expensive tractor we've got or had in game. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm trying to think of harvesters, cotton harvesters, certain ones we've had, but as far as tractors go, it could be one of the most expensive machines we've had in game. Um, standard version is over a million. It's over a million for a track. Oh, that's absolutely nuts. Um, but wow, I saw one of these, lucky enough to see one of these at Lama, and it's on my video, and like that at the front, when you walk up to the front of it, it is gargantuan. I mean, just seriously cool. So this is the 
Case IH Steiger 715 quad track. This is by Custom Modding and Carl Farms. 41.01 megabytes download. 41 slots for the base model and worth every slot of it because it sounds great. Loads of options. Let's jump in and have a look. So under large tractors, you probably saw it earlier. Well, you did see it earlier because it was right next to the one we were looking at. Out on the end there, 1,067,000. <laughs> That's nuts considering you can pick up a tractor for 67,000, but 1,067,000. 778 horsepower does that say <laughs> now the horsepower we have our tractors with higher horsepower some modded some adjusted some chip tuned that kind of thing so the horsepower isn't necessary but for a base vehicle that's that is nuts um and that's set we can't adjust that that's man, look at it i went for the green because it's mr p green but it looks phenomenally in red doesn't it that looks just space age anyway so we've got the option of lizard and continental those are our choices uh, under lizard we've got the 3500 ag tread in 30 inch 32 inch or 36 inch wide tracks we then go to the 6500 6500 ag at 30 32 36 then we go from that to the 6500 scraper 30 32 36 and then we go to the gator at 30, 32, 36. That's just the different treads on the tracks. Then we go from that to Continental. And we've got the Conti Trackman, Trackman, 30, 32, 36. Oh, what's just those? I thought there was another one. No, just those three. Uh, then we've got Design US or EU, or we've got Oversize, which I think is more, it's the Australian, isn't it? I think that does the Oversize changes the top as well if you look at the uh we go from the eu version to the oversize and it puts the top on the um air filter and puts the triangle on the back as well same as the us version has the triangle does the filter on top yeah so it's only the eu one that doesn't have the top on the filter anyway um and then we go from that to front options we've got standard there's quite a few on here so we've got standard we've got a thousand pounds of weight We've got 2,200 pounds of weight. We've got a rock box on the front. Rock box and weights. All back to standard. So plenty of weight on the front if you want it. Windows, default, light tint, dark tint, black tint or back. Uh, you've got in-cab monitors. We've got none. Then we've got a selection. We've got a field viewer. We've got precision planting. We've got precision planting and field viewer. You've then got real dashboard, real dashboard and field viewer or none. So there's a few different options for um screens inside monitors then you've got floor covering you got default cardboard carpet i think i'm in for carpet actually uh back to default again cardboard if i don't know for whatever reason you just don't want to mess up whatever's in there i think you get rubber matting and all sorts of these we've got exhaust default or we've got rain cap i went for the rain cap because i do like the little flapper on the top i think that's quite cool then attaches we've got rear hitch we've got rear hitch with weight bracket and then we've got 3,100 pounds of weight, 4,500 pounds of weight. Then we've got a quick hitch and back to rear hitch again. So you can't have the quick hitch and additional weights. It's the standard hitch with various different weights and then the quick hitch if you want it on the back. Uh, then we've got fleet numbers, one through nine, and these are put, you can just see at the back wheel arch there, one all the way through to nine. Can you imagine running nine of these? <laughs> Good grief, over 9 million. Oh, that's a lot of money in it. Uh, we've got main colour, we've got that, we've got black, we've got silver, and we've got green. Which is the Steiger green, that's kind of what it's known for. Uh, we've got design colour, that's the interior seating. So we can change our seating on the inside, and we've got a licence plate option on there as well. So, let's jump in and start it up. Let's just take that in for a moment. Look at the exhaust flapper. Look, I love that. Look at the cab movement. This mod is incredible. I mean, listen to it. Oh. Now, the lighting as well. This is just... Look. Boom. 
no problem working at night. That is incredible. And I've said that a lot. But these mods today have just been absolutely brilliant. Um, we then got under L1 and right stick side to side. What was that? I can't remember what changed. Oh, yeah. Inside, we can change the screen. So L1 and right stick side to side, we can change the screen. Like that. Uh, R1, right stick side to side, does... Hang on. Make sure we get the right one. Right stick up and down does that and side to side was what was side to side? I can't remember now. Something else moved. Up and down was that. Let's go outside and see what else is moving. I'm trying to think what options there were. Up and down. Side to side. I can't see anything else moving. L1 R1. Left stick side to side. Oh yeah. So this is what I was saying earlier on. So this one, left stick side to side. L1, R1, left stick side to side. Oh, he's doing it. It didn't do it. How bizarre. When I was testing this, it moved, but the seat moved under me and I didn't move with it. And I thought, that's weird, but it's actually, no, it's working fine. So we've got our seat movement. And we've got right stick side to side. Does our door. There we go. The interior light comes on when you do it, as you can see. Goes off. Nice sound effect on that as well. That's going to bug me. Up and down. Side to side. What am I looking for? I'm looking for mirrors, maybe? No. Unless it's one of the other screen configurations, maybe, but... Anyway, that being said... It's a minor... Oh! <laughs> it's nice and quiet in here though. Turns on a dime. Look at that movement. That, that rock as it goes. I like the cab movement. Like I said, that, that cab suspension, cab movement in there. Brilliant. Anyway, I could drive this around all day. What a, what a piece of kit. Imagine doing a start from scratch and building up to an earn, enough, earn enough money to buy one of those. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Anyway, I've got to stop. That's the case AH Steiger 715 Quad Track by Custom Modding and Carl Farms. And that's it for the mods for Friday, the 29th of March. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, happy Easter. And thanks for watching.